Hello singers! This is the third video of the fast reading session and um, I am going to read for you Vittoria, Vittoria mio core. But before we start, please feel free to like, share and subscribe my channel. I will be more than pleased and you will support my project. Thank you very much. So let's get started. Vittoria, Vittoria, mio core. Okay, let's do it again. This is not going to be a read along. I will read and you will repeat and don't forget to record your performances so that you can compare my pronunciation with yours, okay? Um, in this case, we have the word Vittoria twice. The first one would be rhythmic like this. Vittoria, Vittoria. Vittoria, Vittoria. You will happen to say it very fast. And in this case, the rhythm of the word and the melody will affect your pronunciation. You have to be careful and never forget that the word Vittoria has a double T. And the double T has a moment of silence, a suspense silence, before the beginning of the double. So, you will have to respect this rule, otherwise you will pronounce a single T. Uh, you will have Vittoria. And very fast, Vittoria. Vittoria. You will have the T on the palate staying there strongly. Vittoria. Vittoria. In this case, you will pronounce very quickly the I, which is something that is really different from what we happen to find if we have a double. In general, in Italian, we have to sing on the previous vowel. In this case, the previous vowel doesn't help at all, so it is pretty difficult. You have to practice, okay? There is the slow one, which is Vittoria, and this helps. But if you have to say Vittoria, Vittoria, the other two, it is, it is really difficult, so be careful, okay? And um, so let's try it wrong. Vittoria, Vittoria. It is a sweet tea if you want, but this is not the right word. Okay, so be careful and try and practice the other one. Vittoria, Vittoria. The suspense silence caused by the movement of the tongue going up to the palate strengthen the sound of the T and makes it double, okay? So we have Vittoria, Vittoria. You try. Then the fast one. Vittoria, Vittoria. Mio core. And here we have the word core, which stands for heart. It's an old poetic word. And uh, we say cuore in Italian nowadays. And uh, you have a flipped R between the two vowels. Core. Non lagrimar più. And R's here are rolled. So, um, practice. Rrr. Non lagrimar più. The word più, that means more, has a stress on the U and it is a written stress and you have to pronounce very quickly the I. So it, it sounds like this. It's a truncated word and it sounds più. Più. You quite don't hear the I. Non lagrimar più. You try. È sciolta d'amore. You can hear that sciolta da, ta da. Try that. Try that because you have the t and the and the d that would affect your sound. 
Try and do it more Italian as you can. Tada, tada. Don't let hair through the consonants. T, T, and D. Just tada. Tada. Okay, I'll read it again. È, which is a verb, è sciolta. Da amore. The word amore doesn't have a double M and doesn't have an open O. It is closed O and single N. È sciolta d'amore. La vil servitù. And here you have the rhyme with the word più. La vil servitù. Okay, we have L, which is a phonating uh, consonant. So don't pronounce it too long. We sing on vowels, okay? So they would sound like doubles. Don't let um, consonants phonate too much, but pronounce them clear. Anybody would understand anything if we don't pronounce properly the consonants. And this is not only for Italian, but for all languages. Okay, so, la vil servitù. Servitù. You try. Già l'empia tuoi danni. Già l'empia tuoi danni. Frastuolo di sguardi. So, let's do it slower a little bit. Già l'empia, you. A tuoi danni, you. Già l'empia tuoi danni. Frastuolo di sguardi. Frastuolo di sguardi. Convezzi bugiardi. Here you have an N, which is a nasalization. Con, mm, 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 mm. Never do. Conovezzi, conovezzi. This is a style that certain singers have, but it's not uh, so elegant. It's not what a native singer would, would do nowadays. So, conovezzi bugiardi. Dispose gli inganni. And here you have the GL sound, which is Y, Y, like your Y, 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 something like this, but it is more emphasized. It's not Y, Y, but it is Y, Y, Y. You can hear that there is the tongue working. Y, Y. <laughs> Dispose gli inganni. Le frode. You. Gli affanni. Again the sound. Gli. Gli affanni. Double N, double F. Affanni. Affanni. Non hanno più loco. Non hanno. Mm. Non hanno più loco. Del crudo. Careful with the D's. You don't have to put air through them. Del, not de, de, del, but it is del crudo suo fuoco 
Foco is uh, the old word for uh, the word fire in Italian, which is fuoco, fuoco. You have the first O that is open, the second one is closed. You can often happen to find this uh, in Italian words, like voglio, for example, and uh, you have to be careful a little bit just to practice foco, foco. It's just an articulation exercise. So, foco, you try. Espento. This is standard Italian, right? But you correct. But you can also hear uh, some natives saying espento. So you, if in this case you happen to make copertura or something like you find it easier to uh, sing the word spento with closed e, you can because also natives would some natives would do that. Espento or espento. L'ardore. So you have rolled R, flipped R. L'ardore. Da luci ridenti. Or, second option is da luci ridenti. You can often um, hear native Italian singers pronouncing vowels and certain consonants, but just, just it is more for vowels, a little differently from the standard Italian. But this is because of regionalisms and we all have this... Uh, this strong accent from the hometown we come from, which is still Italian, but we do use different expressions and uh, mainly we do change uh, certain doubles and certain vowels, uh, talking about O's and E's. So it happens often and many singers don't change their own um, accent of origin because it affects their sound as singers. So you are allowed not to be so strict uh, respecting the standard Italian diction uh, as singers if this means that your sound is better. So uh, the main thing is that your language is correct, that you are pronouncing properly and that your sound is good as singers. So if you change an E and this is something that also natives do, it's not a big problem. You can do it. So just listen to the different options I'm giving you and you can choose according to the sound of your voice, okay? And to the melody, of course, to the need of the melody. Da luci ridenti. Or da luci ridenti. Luci. Non esce più strale. Second option. Non esce più strale. So the word esce could be esce or esce. Sh, sh, sh. Don't say the sh sound too long. Esce, esce. No, this is no good. Esce, esce. Che piaga mortale. Che piaga mortale. Nel petto m'avventi. 
Be careful with the word petto. Never say that. It's a petto. Petto. Double T. Petto. Ma venti. Double V. And don't say ma venati. Nati. No. It's a nasalized N. Ma venti. Mm. Mm, mm. Nel duol, nel duol, l, l. It, this is not the, this is not the L of la, la. This is, a, this is a l, l, l. Quite a back L, we may say. So, Nel duol, it's back here. Nel duol. And don't let the L sound too much. Ne tormenti. Here we have a pretty clear uh, phrasing doubling, which is a consonant that is doubled, but it's not a written double. So, ne tormenti, because you have this truncated ne, and uh, there's a silence, a moment of silence here, suspense silence, that reminds us of the double T. So, ne tormenti, io più non mi sfaccio. And this non mi, becomes just one word with a nasalized M or assimilation, we can also call it. So, io, which is the I, don't, don't, don't confuse the io, the Italian io, with the Spanish yo. We have the stress on the I, io. Try it, io. Then when you have to say it with another word, it becomes more difficult. So never forget the stress is on the I. So, io più, io più, io più non mi sfaccio. È rotto ogni laccio. È rotto ogni laccio. To tease, to seize. Sparito il timore. We have two flipped R's. Sparito il timore. I hope you found this video useful. If you want, you can leave a comment. You can write to me at info at elenavilla.it, which is my email, or you can contact me on Instagram or Facebook if you like. You can write to me on Messenger and uh, you can easily find me writing, typing my name, but on Instagram you can find me at uh, elena.villavoice. And uh, if you want, we can chat a little bit, talk about diction, or you can have lessons on Skype, so we can, uh, you can attend lessons on Skype with me about Italian diction for singers, and I will be more than pleased to help you. So, good singing, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.